Welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. So let's just take a couple of moments to warm up before we do a big practice from the opening all the way through parting the wild horse's mane. So that means we're getting the whole first section, the second section, and then we're starting to get into these specialty movements. So feet shoulders width apart. Let's just start at the top, drawing the chin to the chest and lifting back up. I'm gonna run through this kind of quickly, just a few minutes of warm ups before we get into that practice. Today's movements are just going to be a repeat, so new transition to grasping the bird's tail so we can enjoy this flow before class. All right, ending with the chin to the chest, nice big hang of the shoulders here, and then back to neutral, and we'll start moving across one side and the other. Nice level head, just back and forth. Remember, we're never pushing too far. Let's do one more complete round, both sides, back to center, and then into the shoulders. So together or alternating or large arm circles, whatever feels good. Just get the joints moving. So much of our Tai Chi movements come from these shoulder and elbow rotations. We want to make sure we're really ready for that. All right, let's go the other direction. Again, large arm circles, if that feels good, or alternating. Let's take a couple going back. We'll shake them out, let them hang down. And then we're getting to that waist. So just a gentle turn, let the arms swing, tapping wherever they happen to land. Remember the kind of goal is to keep our hips in a neutral position and find that opening through the middle lower back area. We'll slowly ease off from that. Oh, hips are next and then knees and ankles. So maybe you step a little bit wider and just a nice big circle and around. Really make sure to push out to the sides. Forward and back, nice big circle. Let's go the other direction. Couple more circles. All right, let's bring the knees and ankles together. Last little joints here. Remember, a little bit goes a long way, so just a small circle is fine. Let's go the other way. All right, shake it out. Okay, so I'm going to turn face the other direction so we all move the same way. Remember, adjust accordingly based on the length of your space. That first section is really long. Let's take a moment and prepare running through that checklist. So giving ourselves that moment to check in on our alignment. So find the center of your feet. Super important that we feel the connection to the whole foot as we move through our practice. Relax that lower back, but not too much that we're super bendy in the knees, but enough that we're not locked out. Remember, we have that little piece of fruit under the arms. Lift through the crown of the head and let the shoulders hang down. Remember, we're rounding the back slightly, letting the chest sink in. Taking two more breaths here, try to find that relaxed feeling. Feeling strong through the legs and light and airy through the arms. And then we'll let the arms float up, opening. Rotate and lift to shoulder height. Upper arms, forearms and palms, push down. Grasping the bird's tail, ward off left, shift and turn. Reaching out, left arm comes underneath, close and step. Hinge the left arm up and press down with the right torso is vertical. Ward off right, shift right and turn. Rotate both arms, close and step, up and down, go together. 
Roll back, left palm goes to the sky, right hand seated, waist turning leads the movement as you shift back. Press, touching the forearm, expand out, and push. Single whip, flatten the arms as you shift back and turn. Big circle, press down, relax the left foot, make a hook, standing ward off, and push. Raise hands and step forward, shift back and turn on the left heel. Open up the hook, touch with the right heel, close the arms, raise hands and step forward. Both arms go down, circle. Left arm's gonna come on top for white crane, close and step. Pass that right arm on the outside, coming overhead, pushing down with the left. Brush, knee and push, look at the right palm. Left arm's gonna come up, right arm swings and we step. Big clearing motion and push. Hand strums the loop, reaching out. Pull back, up and down, go together. Left brush knee, swing and press down. Big clearing right hand to the shoulder and push. Left arm comes up, turn the arm and leg together. Weight pours back in. Right brush knee, two half circles, step, clearing and push. One more left brush knee, turn, circle, step, clear, and push. Hand strums the loop, reach out and step in. Pull back, up and down, go together. Last brush knee, step, make sure that hand comes to the shoulder and strike. Parry, block, and punch. Left arm comes up. Everything turns together. Swing the arms down. Make a fist. Step. Parry to the side. Hold back your opponent and punch. Apparent closing up. Separate the arms. Both palms to the sky. Breaking a grab. Sit up both palms and then push. Cross hands, chopping to the corner direction as you turn on that left foot. Bring the arms down, right arm ends up on the outside, parallel stance. Embrace the tiger, shift right and turn on that left heel. Separate the arms, two half circles, pressing down with that right arm, big clear, and then push. Roll back, connect out, and then turn. Touching left hand to right forearm for press. And then push. Fist under elbow. Looks like single whip. Big turning. Except we're gonna push out to the side direction. Then we do a transition step towards the corner as we ward off. Show grabbing, step. Pull down, lift, punch, and touch with the left heel. Open up that fist, repulse monkey. Rotate using the shoulder and elbow. Pull and push, go together, number one. Number two, hand comes to the shoulder when you touch. Shift your weight back and turn your waist. Last one. Step and pulling in. Diagonal flying, big circle with the arms. Step, open, and turn. Raise hands. Stepping back, open, right hand higher than the left. Touch, and close. Both arms go down circle for white crane. Close and step. Right arm on the outside, and we touch. Right hand 
comes down, left arm goes up and then presses down for brush knee and push. Needle at the C bottom, reaching out, step in, pull back, dropping that right elbow, touch with the toes, sink and fold from the hips. Fan through the back, left palm to right wrist and step, pulling into the palm strike, torso's vertical. Turning, protect your head with the left hand, press down with the right, chop with fist, make a fist, chop, and then bring all that weight in with the palm push. Connect out, parry down, parry to the side, hold back your opponent, and then punch. Grasping the bird's tail, connect out, ward off, right, roll back, press, and push. Single whip. Make a hook. Standing ward off and push. Wave hands like clouds, shift back and turn. Drop that hook. Big circles, stepping shoulder width. And then double wide, waist turning leads the arms to the side. All right, one more. Double wide. And then shoulders width to the corner direction for single whip. High pat on horse. Open up that hook, right hand to the shoulder, touch with the ball and pull in the throat level strike. Separation kicks, level out the arms. Right hand comes across and a big sweeping out. Turn the waist to close the arms. Stand up. Look, kick, change the arms as you bend the knee. Stepping down, less than corner, big circle, elbow and knee in line. Close the arms, standing up. Look, kick, keep the arms as you bend the knee. Turn the left arm and leg, straighten the left leg, turn over the right palm, big turn. Sink down, right arm comes inside, standing up, left heel kick, bend the knee. Brush knee, right arm comes in front, two half circles. Step, clear, and push. Okay, other side, left arm comes up, turn arm and leg together. Swing and step, big opening and push. Punching down, right arm comes up and turns just like before. This time both arms come to the side, make a fist, open and punching knee level in line with the right shoulder. Arms come up as you lift up, turning, protect your head. Fist presses down, chop with fist, connect out and chop. Then bow stance with the palm push. Parry, block and punch, connect out. Deflect down, step, parry to the side, hold back your opponent and then punch. Right heel kick, connecting out, fist is diagonal, left arms and ward off. Open up that fist as you stand up, heel kick, bend the knee. Strike tiger, stepping down along that plank to the corner. Left arm comes across, step, Look away from your screen, left arm comes down, out to the side and overhead, making two fists at the last moment. Shift back, arms stay the same, turn on your left heel. Relax that right foot as the arms come to the side and open. Step, right arm comes out to the side and overhead, strike tiger. Open up that left foot, connect out as the right arm drops. Keeping those fists, connect the arms, stand up, 
Heel kick, open the fist, bend the knee. Little turn, arms come together. Stepping down, hands to the hips, make fists. Connect, twin fists strike opponent's ears. Drop the fists, let them open at the bottom, standing up, left heel kick, bend the knee. Reach out with that left arm and back with the left leg as you sink. Big turn. Connect the arms, right arm on the outside, standing up, right heel kick. Bend the knee. Parry block and punch without the parry, stepping down. Left hand to shoulder, right palm to sky, bring it back, make a fist, and then punch. Apparent closing up. So breaking that grab, and then sit up both palms for push. Almost there, chop with fist, or chop, cross hands, ah! <laughs> All right, step, embrace tiger, shift and turn. Two half circles, looks like brush knee with a different meaning, and push. Roll back, connect out, and then turn. Press, and push. Okay, diagonal single whip, flatten, turn, right foot to 12 o'clock. Normal single whip, just to the corner direction. Step, and strike. Parting the wild horse's mane. Shift back and turn. Drop that hook. Looking down towards the right palm, stepping less than corner. Big turning. Right palm to the sky, left hand in front of the hips. Shift back a tiny little bit. Open the toes the tiniest bit ever as you rotate. Close the arms, look over the right shoulder towards the left fingers, big turning. Number two, shift, turn, close, look over the left shoulder and step, and then follow that right arm, parting the wild horse's mane. Woo, you made it. You have just done so much of the form now, it's incredible. <laughs> All right, feeling good now, right? Energy's flowing. <laughs> oh, man, take a deep breath. Yes. Can I ask you a quick question? Oh, absolutely. Doing the party the wild horses, man, we're stepping out to the corner on the 45 degree angle, is that correct? Less than corner. Ah, okay. So parting the wild horse's mane is the only time we're not forward. So if I'm straight at the camera okay. or 45 degrees where my back foot is towards the camera, it oh. is in between. Oh, okay. Great, so it great. is, yeah, it's not to the straight. It's not to the corner. It's less than corner, more than straight, however you want to word it. <laughs> On the compass, I guess. Yeah, it's probably one of the hardest uh, uh, times to find a standard bow stance. The best way to practice it is to take some painter's tape to your floor mm. and make a, a, a box and then put a, a star in it or a plus sign, I mean, and then an X. So then you can really see what the 45 degree and straight is. So then you can actually see like, okay, this is to the corner where this is 45 degrees and this is straight. And then this is the opposite, right? So straight and 45, but then in between. Okay. One other quick question. Yes. We're doing the, it's a, as we start the third part after, um, after this, and we go to here, is it a diagonal single whip? Or it's not horizontal, it's diagonal, correct? It's diagonal, yes. So it's completely 45 to the corner. Okay. All right, yes. thank you. That's You're good welcome. Question. Good questions, because it is the only time we see diagonal single whip and right. that interesting footwork with parting the wild horse's mane. So it is a standard bow stance, but it is just off direction. So the relationship between the feet is the same. Does that make sense? So you have 45 degree relationship between the feet. One straight, one's 45, same here. 
one straight one's 45. So we still have that 45 degrees, but just to a different direction. Hey, thank you very much. That's, those are my questions. I Good. appreciate it. Great questions. All right, so let's practice again. Let's start from the push after cross hands, embrace tiger. We'll start at push. We'll do that diagonal single whip to nail the footwork. And then from there, we'll do the party in the wild horses main with that uh, less than corner, more than straight bow stance, okay? Because today is completely repeat movement. So after that, we're getting it back into grasping the bird's tail. So we have a little bit of a new transition. And then everything from there should feel a little bit kind of like familiar and that we can relax before we get into the fun stuff next week. One of my favorite sections, Fair Lady Work Shuttles. All right, so let's take a moment to practice. Set yourselves up so that we just did embrace the tiger and we did roll back, press and push. So. Embrace the tiger is a little bit of an off bow stance as well. We're gonna shift back and we're gonna flatten the palms. Diagonal single whip. So turn from your waist first. Big circle with the arms. Press down, look at your right foot. How'd you do? Is it to 12 o'clock to straight? Then relax that left foot. Make the hook, turn over that left palm. Standing ward off and push. Okay, we're practicing right now. Drop the arms for a second. How's your footwork? If you turn on your right heel, do you have two lines going to the corner direction? Torso is vertical. Bring those arms back. Check left arm and leg in line. Right hook is to the three o'clock straight direction. Okay, parting the wild horse's mane. Shift back. And turn on your left heel, look down, turn that foot a little bit past the corner, closer to straight. Drop the hook, relax the right foot. Draw in and then step kind of straight, kind of towards the forward direction, kind of to the side. Look at your foot first. How'd you do? Still moving forward, but kind of to the side. Now look over to your right fingers and follow that right arm turning from the waist. Should end up with that left hand sitting in front of your hip, the right palm to the sky. So make sure that left hand is more in front, allowing the shoulders to relax and the back to be rounded. Beautiful. Okay, so now we shift back a little bit. We turn just a smidge with the foot and both palms rotate. Now we're going to shift forward and we're going to close the arms and step. This time looking towards the left fingers. Then we're going to follow that left arm, turning. And again, right hand is in front of the body, so not back, sitting in front. Left palm to the sky is in line with that left foot direction which is not quite to corner, it's less than corner. Okay, shift back. Open those toes the tiniest little bit as you rotate. Close both arms and step, looking again at the right fingers. And then a big turn, parting the wild horse's mane. So again, check, right arms in line with the foot direction. High enough, extended, not bent. Extended, left hand by the hip. The tiger's mouth, the point between the pointer finger and the thumb is open and pointing to the center of the right forearm. That's why we're ahead, we're not behind. Now drop your arms, check your footwork. Bow stance, 45 degree relationship between the feet but not to the 45 corner and not to straight, in between. All right, yes, feeling better now, right? The wonkiest of footwork there, but it's really good to learn. Again, our goal is to become stable in our footwork so that no matter which direction, we know what our bow stance should feel like. So even if we are off to a little bit of a different angle, that bow stance should still feel exactly the same. All right, so 
Today, we're just gonna work on a new transition and then see how we feel about our grasping the bird's tail into single whip. Next session, we'll be getting into those fair lady work shuttles. So just watch one time. We're starting from parting the wild horse's mane, okay? We're gonna go into grasping the bird's tail, ward off left. So we're gonna shift back and we're gonna turn on that right heel. Then we're gonna rotate the arms, draw that left foot in, stepping out, and then normal ward off left, okay? So, are we seeing the theme with the footwork? Most of the time, we draw our foot in to then step back out, right? It's like a reset. So then every time we can decide, are we gonna step to the corner? Are we gonna step forward? right? We can make that decision. We're also not going to have kind of a clunky footwork by turning and going from here and just being like, okay, now I'm good, right? It's a little bit more graceful. We're giving ourselves that agility or ability to change and building strength through our legs with every step. So let's work on the footwork first and then we'll add in the arms. So give yourself a perfect starting position. Left foot, it's more than the corner, but or sorry, it's less than the corner, but more than straight. So find that position, sink down, stepping out, same thing. Not to 45. Give yourself that in-between, move forward. Remember, we're leaning a little bit. Okay, so from here, we're going to move into grasping the bird's tail, ward off left. Shift back. And you're gonna turn on that right heel till it's to 45 degrees to the corner. Then you're gonna shift your weight and relax the left foot, draw in, and then step wide enough, shift forward and turn, torso is vertical. So not too hard, right? But we just wanna make sure that we get that kind of drawing in of the footwork to become standard. So let's do it again. Great part in the wild horse's main footwork. Check, turn on your left heel. If the feet are facing the same direction, do you still have two lines? Good. All right, so now shift back. Keep that crotch rounded enough. Turn 45 degrees. Shift. Don't stand up, just pick up, step wide enough, move and turn. Now from here, it's normal, right? So we're in ward off left, it will then be standard footwork. So we'll do that in a moment. So let's do it with the arms, okay? It's a little bit easier because you get to turn towards your screen, right? So parting the wild horse's mane, shift back. Make sure the arms and legs kind of follow that same turning. Now, rotate right palm facing down, left fingers point down. Then bend that left arm underneath, close and step. Pass the right palm over the forearm and lift up, ward off left. So check here, right hand sitting by the hip, one line, shoulder, elbow, and wrist pointing out to three o'clock or the straight direction. Torso's vertical. Drop your arms. I want you to check your footwork. If you turn, do you still have two lines? Yes. Let's do it again. All right. Remember, these little transitions, we could go through them quickly, but then this is where we're going to get tripped up. So we want to feel more confident because we know what's coming next, okay? Parting the wild horse's mane. Beautiful starting positions. Shift, turn, rotate, draw in, close step, up and down, go together. Okay, ward off right, shift back, Turn, legs, waist, arms. I want you to look down. Are both of your feet to the corner direction right now? We're practicing, so we use this time to adjust, right? Okay, now shifting left, rotate both arms. 
draw that right foot in so we can reset and step out. Then hinge the right arm up and press down with the left. You should end up left fingers point to right forearm, chest is open slightly, elbow and knee in line, head lifting up. Okay, roll back. Keep the connection between your hand and your forearm the same and rotate. Use those elbows and shoulders so that your left palm is to the sky and your right hand is seated. Fingers still point to the center of the right forearm. Turn from your waist, shifting back. Arms go to the other corner. Check the relationship between your legs. Are you still using push and support? Now, left palm to right forearm. Expand up and out for press. Elbow and knee in line. Square up the shoulders. So turn, flatten the arms. Coming back over that ball, sit up both palms. Leaning into it and push. Shoulder height, shoulder width. Okay, as you shift back, keep those shoulders square and flatten the arms. Turn from the waist, left arm turns with it. Then whole body turns on that right heel. We're gonna press down. Relax that left foot, fingertips point together here. Then we're gonna push out to the side, left fingers point to right forearm. Make a hook, turn over that left palm. Standing ward off, step, rotate that arm, and then push. Okay, torso's vertical, right? Check the relationship between your arms, 135 degrees, so not too open. Relax it down, hooks higher, throat level, palm is in line with the shoulder. Drop the arms. How's our footwork? If we turn on our right heel, do we still have two lines? Yes. <laughs> Very important, okay? Remember, having grasping the bird's tail as that moment to come back to in between specialty movements in this third section should be that relaxing moment for you, okay? That's what I want it to feel like, is like that moment where you can take a breath in your practice and you can just enjoy because we're not gonna be doing some balancing footwork or you know some different new coordination of the arms, okay? So let's do it again, really kind of honing in Let's just take it from parting the wild horse's mane, but then we're gonna start again at push from Embrace Tiger. So one more time, just like this, give yourself that great footwork. Remember, 45 degree relationship between the footwork, but we're still off angle just a little bit, less than corner. Okay, right palms to the sky, left hands in front of you. Sitting on that table, this should start to feel more natural. Okay, shift back. Turn, rotate, close, and step up and down, ward off left. Shift and turn, rotate, close, step up and down, go together, ward off right. Roll back, rotate and turn, press, and push. Single whip, flatten, turn, press down, relax the left foot, make a hook, and step. Okay, should be feeling a lot more confident now, right? So let's do it from Embrace the Tiger's Push. So let's get in that diagonal single whip, 
move through the parting the wild horse's mane, and then into our new transition with repeat movement. So give yourself this great starting position, a little bit less than straight, and then in our push. Okay, diagonal single whip, flatten, turn. Where is your hook going? Straight direction. Stepping to the corner. Parting the wild horse's mane. Shift back and turn. Let that arm drop. Open the hook. Close and step. Big turning. Okay. Shift back. Open a little. Close. Looking over the shoulder and step. Big turn. Last one. Rotate. Look over and then turn. Shift. Grasp the bird's tail. Turn on that right heel. Ward off left. Step. Ward off right. Letting go, feeling more relaxed. Roll back. Light and airy through those arms. Press. Feel the push and support through the legs. Flexible through the waist for push. Moving into our final single whip. Making that hook. Step and push. All right. Feeling good now, right? Okay, let's practice one more time. Let's do it from cross hands so then we get that flow in a little bit more. Okay, remember, we have all of these checkpoints throughout each movement, right? That we can say, okay, you should look like this. Right now, I want you to throw all of that out the window because you already know it. And I just want you to enjoy the flow. So I just want you to kind of let go and really find lightness through the arms, okay? Traditional Yang style has a lot of details, right? And sometimes when we get really focused in on these details, we can bring a little bit of tension through the upper body. I want you to let go now. I want you to just like let them fly, let the arms do what they're gonna do and just feel heavy through the legs and very light through the upper body, okay? So let's do it from cross hands. Give yourself a beautiful starting position. Just think about feeling heavy through the legs and light and airy through the arms, just enough to keep them up. All right, embrace tiger, shift and turn. Separate, remember it looks like brush knee, just got a different meaning. Big, clear and push. Roll back, connecting like a bicycle coming out and turn. Press. and push. Single whip to the corner direction. Hook goes to straight. Step and push. Parting the wild horse's mane, shift back and turn. Let that hook drop. Step and turn with the waist. Number two, rotate, close, and step. Big arms here. Okay, last one. Big turn. Okay, grasping the bird's tail, ward off left, shift back and turn. Close the arms, step 
and up and down. Ward off right, shift and turn. Nice rotation, close and step up and down. Roll back. Press. And push. Single whip. Just finding that lightness, making a hook, step and push. All right, woo! Nice work today. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's session.